Sagittarius, welcome. This is your heart spread reading. I've already laid out here. This is for mid-January 2022. Love, romance, and relationship reading. Here I'm reading for you in the one that's on your mind. This is the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Pentacles. I think for overall energy, that's you, Sag. I count this pretty big. I'm Sagittarius myself, full disclosure. Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, and Mars. Um, so what I see here, this is uh, showing you where you're at in terms of love, romance, and relationship as you are coming into this relationship. This shows your person where they're at, love, romance, and relationship as they come in. Obviously, the wounded warrior here. So, and you're coming in very solid. You're ready to give your couple love. Um, I believe in this relationship, uh, you have some sense. This is a savior relationship here, Sag. Um, you're taking care of a person, okay? They're, they're the wounded warrior, and I'm not, like, demeaning that or anything, but that's just kind of the, the way this reading is. It's kind of a simple reading. I'm trying to, I'm going to ask Spirit for some help now, name of light and love, so it serves the greatest good. Guide me, protect me, give me strength. Help me get some depth into this reading, give some insight to Sag. Um, because I think it's just a status checkup the way I see it now. So you're reacting to your person with the Seven of Cups. And they're reacting by their healing. So this is so obviously them coming to you for healing. With the uh, Nine of Wands too, it could imply you have another fire sign on your hands here. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Uh, but uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, think, guys. Uh, but then once they get to you, they're in this place of healing. Um, and there's no way, this is the card of how they're responding to you. So in response to you, they're healing. This is a good thing. But I don't think you understand that. Perhaps this is where this could be helpful, this reading. Uh, because it may seem to you, the difference between the Nine of Wands and the Four of Swords is, is, is actually great for them personally. That's exactly a, what they need to do. They need to heal a little bit before they get back in the game. You know, they probably, they might have had literally nine mishaps in love over some period of time um, that they go back to. Uh, but here, it's like, I think you're kind of not understanding because they're sort of withdrawing their um, energy from you. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Ten of Swords. That's clarifying the Four of Swords. So, what's happening with you is they're letting go of this past energy, uh, whatever it was that defeated them over and over and over. And they bring that energy into the relationship. They're going to feel like they, they can't succeed. And and the, the other shoe's going to drop. That feeling could cause them to withdraw. So, if they're in a period of withdrawal, it's for this reasons of healing. That's what it is you don't understand, you know, emotionally. You're like not, you're a little bit confused. And look how you have now the Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups here, and now you have the Seven of Pentacles. And this is in the position of your advice from spirit for this relationship, how to best deal with this relationship. And this, I believe in the position of advice, it is about reciprocation. You feel like you're not being reciprocated. But it's asking you to really take a close look at things. That's what this card is doing. You can see it in his face, even here. Um, because it nuts and bolts assessment of this relationship. Because it's coming under the emotion. So emotionally, you're fuzzy. You're not sure. Um, this could be they're kind of, maybe they, they ghosted you. Maybe they just cut down on their communication. Maybe they're not returning your cup of love. You, you said, I love you. Maybe they didn't. Um, so you're really thinking about this and I think it, it's it's saying think about it in terms of nuts and bolts get out of your heart and uh, get into your mind make a, look at the practical aspects of it the seven of Pentacles too it's good to ask advice from your friend particularly earth signs guys kind of kidding but not so this is the advice from spirit for your person one of the best cards in the deck the eight of Pentacles now this is advice and they don't have to take it but I feel like they will because of the outcome of this reading. But they need some time. This, look, you've got Seven of Pentacles and they've got Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles could be you saying to them, I don't, where are you? I don't feel like you're in this relationship with me. You know, I thought we had something. I gave you my cup of love. And what's going on with you? And the Eight of Pentacles is for them to really think about this themselves. Go back to the nuts and bolts themselves. And to put the work in that needs to be done. This is work in relationship, the good work, the personal work that needs to be done. 
And with the hanged man, this is your advice from spirit. It's like you both need to look at things from a different perspective. So it's coming in between your seven of pentacles and your eight of pentacles. Uh, you know, for you, Sag, I think it's looking at things more practically, less emotionally. You've got the two, two of cups and the seven of cups. That's your energy, okay? Way emotional, like, like swamp, like uh, drowning in emotion could be okay which if for a sag it can be tough then you can't just get a handle you're going to get a handle by looking at things very practically um you know practically how do we fit together how do our lives work together what's the dynamics you know what do they do for a living what do i do for what do they want do they want children do i want children do they want a home do they want to rent do they want to own is their career important is there Creativity important? Um, is love important to them? Is family important to them? Is it not? You know, what's it what's it mean to you? Okay? Very practical things. And for them, it's just step up to the plate and engage and do the relationship work that needs to be done. If they choose to do this, and I think they will, and this could also there's there's a hang up, okay? Like a timeout in a football game. You call timeout because something doesn't look right. You know the, they're playing off a different playbook, and you don't know what they're doing, so you need a minute to try to figure out what's going on. And that's exactly what this is. But I think when both of you focus upon practical things, this person has to let go of this past energy, okay? And I believe they will, because the Ten of Swords, but it's, it's like you're helping them. You're healing them. They're coming to you, and you're giving them the safe space and yes, I mean, they're kind of using it a little bit. Let me just say that. But I don't know. I think it's okay. It's how love works. It's a lot of people are like, oh, you know, it's codependent and that's not healthy. I don't know. It's like good luck. You know, if you want to live this codependent less life for the rest of your life, you good luck with that. You really just have to be the hermit, you know, because it's how it works. You know, we're not all equal. We don't come together equal. There's always soul contracts, things being balanced. You know, and you're you're kind of giving them, probably they have a feeling like a safe harbor. So like a safe harbor with you. So in fact, they trust you. That's why they can collapse. Let's put it that way. They're running and they're running and they're exhausted and they're exhausted. And it's not working. And now they get to you and they do feel a connection. I don't think your two of cups here is misled. And because of that, they, uh, their body maybe even physically just collapses because they feel like they're actually, they feel like they're safe with you, is what it is. And they're just going to need time to build themselves back up and do this work. And that's what the hangman is too. But after this period, now these wands are coming at you in this reading. And this is the outcome. I don't really feel any need to clarify this, Sag. What's going to happen is like, they're going to go through this process of healing. They're going to let go of this old stuff. These thought patterns are not, stop carrying it forward into the relationship. And when this wounded soldier heals, it's going to uh, get back into the game and he's going to take another throw at love. And that's what you're going to get, this eight of wands. It's going to throw everything at you. They're going to basic, there's going to be a moment where they're going to kind of come to their senses, as it were, and they're going to realize how much you give them, Sag. And uh, why do you feel so safe with Sag? Do you feel like you can let go? Your very maybe their very body is betraying the reality of the situation. You know the body is held up and held up and held up, and now they get to you, and the body collapses because they feel safe with you, Sag. So I'd say give this a minute, um, keep things practical, try to not get too try to get out of your emotions here. I don't think your emotions are helping you. When you had Seven of Cups, um, uh, it's, the emotions you're feeling are probably not uh, going to guide you and be helpful. Whereas Seven of Pentacles, all kind, it's always guiding and helpful. More practical. Get a loop book out. Make a list. It's doing a budget. It's, but think of that in terms of relationship. Um, think about the realities of things, you know. It's too about the realities of things, you know. It's like they're healing right now. They're hurt. They didn't let go. You you know these things. Um, so keeping that in mind. So let me know, Sag, what you think of that, my fellow Saggies. And I appreciate if you could give me a like and help the little algorithm push this along. And uh, if you do uh, like channel, please do subscribe. Hit the bell. Fridays are always Sag and Cap Day here at Dave's Guy Tarot. Thank you, guys.